A man was killed after being hit by a train Monday morning. Tonda police are now trying to figure out exactly what happened. KTK's Tori Bean right now joining us live with more about that. Tori. Neil, shortly after 9 this morning, Tyler police received a call from a railroad operator saying they had hit a man lying on these tracks. The uh, railroad operator said they saw a male laying on the tracks. The accident took place at the overpass by the corner of Locust and Bonner near the police station. Do you see that the overpass behind us? He's he's just uh, uh, to the east of that. About 30 feet is where he, he um, ended up. You know, when we found him, I don't know where it first got the contact, but that's where he ended up. When police officers, firefighters and EMS got to the scene, they discovered his leg had been severed by the train. He was breathing and alive, so uh, he was transported by EMS to to a local hospital. Once at the hospital, he died from his injuries. The train didn't go very far after it hit him. Thankfully, it's, it was it's a pretty slow moving train, uh, but obviously could not stop when they you know see somebody uh, on the on the tracks. But at this time, we don't know why he was on the tracks. Union Pacific sent their own officers out to investigate, and when we reached out, they gave us this statement. Quote, the incident did not occur at a crossing. The train crew was not injured and the pedestrian was transported to a local hospital where he later died. Our crime scene is out here and uh, have mapped out the scene. Our uh, accident investigators who are part of our traffic department, they reconstruct accidents with laser measurements and, and um, photographs. They will do that as well. So we're gonna run the whole gamut of things out here just to, cause we don't know again, the ultimate reason he was on the tracks. The train was backed up to Beckham Avenue, but finally got moving around one in the afternoon, opening all railroad crossings back up to drivers. Tyler police ask anyone with any information on this case to please give them a call. In Tyler, Tori Bean, KTK News.